What's up, guys? We're here at AMC Town Square with Chasing Cinema. Mr. James Shu, how are you, sir? Dot com. And we got a Thanksgiving weekend. We got Creed and we got Disney Pixar's The Good Dinosaur. Yes, as well as Trumbo, which is also available online right now. Um, I'm excited, not, ju not just because tomorrow, in 24 hours, turkey, stuffing, cranberry sauce is all going to be all over the table and family's going to be around. I am excited for Disney and Pixar's Good Dinosaur. Uh, I had a unique opportunity earlier this year. We've been talking about it a lot this past month. Um, early this month, I mean, uh, as far as the unique opportunity. And I was sit down with directing animator Rob Thompson, a Pixar artist who uh, worked really, really hard on The Good Dinosaur. Uh, he did a behind the scenes presentation and he allowed us to kind of give a little sneak peek in what this movie was uh, about and, and, and some inside look. And that was and, a Chasing Cinema exclusive. Yes, and you can find that video, of course, right up here where there's an eye. There's a white ball and an eye. You click that eye, all the links come up. You'll be able to watch that uh, as well as it is included in my review. Um, Mr. Shu, you were at the presentation with me. How did you feel about The Good Dinosaur going in? Really good. Like the guy, the Rob Tom, or yeah, Thompson guy, right, he Rob shared Thompson. it with us about, so you, you'll be able to see it, but he, they shared us about seven minutes of the film with us. Yeah, about. Uh, or give or take three different clips or four different clips and um, the animation that they did for this one from what they were showing us and what he said too it looks amazing yeah it, you know it, even it, in the trailer some of it doesn't it's like that's free that looks yeah free. It, it does look really interesting i mean i, I didn't think the animation was going to be that strong as far as realism uh from the trailers it wasn't until we actually had that sneak peek that we were kind of able to see more of the background environment but i'm really excited for this movie my only thing is and it, it's been since i've seen the film was disney pictures inside out uh was one of my year's favorite movies. It's still up on my list, and I think it's just an extraordinary film. And I'm wondering if Good Dinosaur could top it. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to top it, but you know, it's really interesting with Disney Pixar having two movies come out at once. Uh, who will contend for the Academy Awards? Which one will Disney pick uh, to, or push? Uh, I'm really interested to see what's going to happen. So, uh, but other than that, I'm excited for this hour and 40 minute movie. And it's a Pixar film, and you really can't go wrong. Yeah, you can't go wrong. And you know what? I totally forgot before I went into this is I'm excited for the short. I forgot we we get a short. Always a short. You know, always a short. And I, I kind of like just totally let that out of my mind. I was like, oh, I'm, but I'm excited for that too. I don't know if any short is ever going to surpass Paper Man. Paper Man. Or uh, Feast. Feast is... Those is, are my two Feast favorite is, ones. Feast is great, but Paper Man is something... Amazing? Yeah, something beyond... Uh, uh, beyond amazing? Movie. It's really amazing. It's a, it's a great uh, short. That and... Um, my, one of my favorite, though, I will say, is Jerry's Game, which is one of the first ones where the old man is playing chess himself. Uh, but beyond that, yeah. But Paper Man is amazing, so... Well, let's see how the good dinosaur is. I am ready. I've how long been is waiting. It? Hour and 40 minutes. All right, well, let's see how good this dinosaur actually is. Ooh! All right, so we just got out of the good dinosaur, and absolutely, this dinosaur is very good. But, and I hate to sound negative, I don't know if I can say this was excellent. I don't know if I can say it was, oh my god! I don't know if I can say that, but. I'm not mad at anything I saw. Mm -hmm. I was entertained the whole time. I enjoyed myself. But <clears throat> it, I don't, um, for me to go out and say that this is the best Pixar film ever made, no. I can't say that. Because what Pixar has done is they've taken themselves to heights on heights on heights. That film, um, animation or live action films, they don't even know how high Pixar has made it. And the, that's the problem when you're great at something and you make something so good like that. Yeah. It's it's so hard to pe compete. So, because eventually I, you're gonna peak, you know. Eventually you're gonna yeah. hit as high as you can, and it's gonna it's always gonna be your biggest competitor yourself then at that point. So I can't say that this was the best Pixar film for sure. I know that for sure. And um and I'm I'm assuming since I'm already feeling this way, I'm gonna have to say it. I don't think it was better than Inside Out because Inside Out when I left it, I was just like, oh my god, that movie was yeah. so smart and. Um, but the, 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 the meaning behind The Good Dinosaur, loved it. Getting over fear, uh, having courage, having, um, and then I love the relationship between, and I think I really appreciate the relationship between Arlo and um, Spot. Spot. Even more it's because of, I have my own little doggy now. So I understand, I was mm -hmm. like, I, I love that. Because that's what this movie is, man and dog. Yes. So, but overall, uh, I loved the film. I enjoyed myself, it was awesome. But I, I can't say it's it's definitely not. It's it, I mean for Pixar films it's definitely not even top five I'm sure. 
I'm sure it's not even top. I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna have to think about it. Maybe I'm just talking to you. For sure, not top three. I, I, I don't think. Well, because Toy Story 3 and 2 already. I don't think you're wrong right in, in saying that. I mean, Pixar has delivered some pretty amazing stuff. Even top five Pixar, even top 10 Pixar is really strong. <laughs> you know, um, but I, I would say that besides maybe one or two films, Pixar, uh, two Pixar better films than have kind of been. Yeah, better, better than Cars. Um, uh, but. The good answer is really good, and, yeah. and I have to agree with you on that. But there is something a little bit about it that's just kind of not as impactful, I guess I guess you could say. I think that the problem is that Pixar spoiled us enough, and they have spoiled us to a point where um, these movies that were made for just for kids, you know, uh, everyone who thinks animation is just for kids, made such a sophisticated, emotionally rich film with Inside Out that our taste is acquired for something more uh, significant, something for more intellectual. And, and the thing is, Good Dinosaur is great, and it, it is good, and it hits all the marks that we expect it to, but in, in all, it hits that uh, the, the emotional target of something that like a 90s Disney movie would hit. There's some sad, there's some happy, and don't get me wrong, I laughed and I cried in this picture. Uh, however, it just doesn't feel like they're reaching as hard as they did. I mean, especially following Inside Out. If this movie, if Good Dinosaur would have came out, Earlier last year. year. And, yeah, or last year. To. And Inside Out came out now. Uh, I think we would be looking at a lot different because we were just so spoiled with how good Inside Out was. Uh, the animation was uh, phenomenal. I really enjoyed the contrast of the cartoonish characters and the beautiful, very realistic backgrounds. Um, I think that it gave us something different to look at because most of the time we are in a set world that looks both uh, that looks how it is. Ratatouille. Every, the characters look like they belong in that world. Everything's kind of contorted, but a little bit realistic. For this movie, it really contracts how everything looks in the background, and where it looks sometimes literally real. Like they really shot something and just stuck those characters in it, uh, and they just took these. But in this movie, using that contrast, it really kind of helps tell the light-hearted story. It's a very light movie. Um, you know, it's. It's like eating milk chocolate compared to chocolate mousse. You know, it's it's just kind of a different taste, if you will. But I was I was very satisfied with Good Dinosaur. Uh, I think the movie is very funny. I think there's some really hilarious parts. Uh, I think the journey was really nice. For sure, best representation of water ever. Yes, in I mean, animation. The water, oh yeah. my gosh, jeez, man. Um, the relationship between Spot and Arlo is very very lovely. You know, I mean, it's it's all really good-hearted stuff. Yeah. Um, I enjoyed that some things weren't very realistic in the movie, you know, we have some other characters that we meet that are, are weird and out there and really unusual and just kind of offbeat. Um, T-Rexes I really enjoyed and I really enjoyed, we talked about it during the presentation, but I enjoyed how they move and their movement and things like that. So you really kind of concentrate on the animation in this movie because of how things look different and they don't really take that realistic approach even though there's so much realism around us. But overall I think the only thing is it's just that because maybe we're so used to that rich, complex story that Inside Out gave us, that maybe Good Dinosaur just a little feels a little too simple. And I, I'm not saying the movie's not worthy, or I'm not saying the movie's not good, because I did. I really, really enjoyed this movie. I had a really good time. But it does kind of fall short of where that Pixar bar is now. But still better than most movies. <laughs> yeah, still better, than, you know, still better than most movies. But, you know, until you really said it, if you think about, if you think about Pixar's uh, lineup, yeah, their gallery. You, I wonder where Good Dinosaur would fall in this, um, because I mean, you have movies like Toy Story, Toy Wally. Story Three, Wall-E, Up, Inside uh, Out, Ratatouille, Finding Nemo, uh, The Incredibles. I mean, th there is a humongously strong list here. Um, but but overall, like I said, I think it's a great movie. I think kids will absolutely love it. I don't think kids will challenge it. There's a lot of heavy influence from Disney's earlier work, well, 90s work especially. You know, oh, there's the, a lot of Lion King The drug there. fruit? Oh, what the <laughs> I was like, what is this movie doing? <laughs> <They're>, <laughs> the hallucinating fruit. Well, yeah, you yeah. know, there, there was, actually, I totally forgot about that until you mentioned that. There are a few well, offbeat. Really because of what you said. <laughs> yeah. there, there are a lot of, like, offbeat type moments in this movie where you're just kind of like, wait, that's kind of weird to be putting in this movie. I thought especially that was really that part. weird. Yeah, that, especially that part. I was kind of like, whoa, that was a little bit odd. You know, I, I totally, and I honestly forgot about it, is as odd as it is. But that's what I think. The movie is a little bit more offbeat. You know, like, for instance, we meet, I don't know what the animal is called, or the, or the dinosaur is called, but he carries all these animals on him. 
you know, and, and each one is to protect him from something that he fears. And like, there's this joke where Those one of them- Those are triceratops, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah triceratops. Uh, and one of them's like, he's like this, uh, it's like a gopher, he's like, this is to protect me from having unrealistic goals. Like just yeah. random little parts uh, that, that work. It was a toxic dream stealer. <laughs> uh, dream stealer? Dream stealer. Yeah, I think his name was dream stealer. And they're just like uh, offbeat type stuff, you know, but, but mo some crusher. of it works. Yeah, yeah dream crusher. Dream crusher. Yeah. Yeah. But, but most of it does work, so. I, yeah, see I stuff like that though, the movie's awesome. Yeah, it's yeah. very fun, it's, it's a very, uh, I like that, like I said, I think that I, what I enjoyed about it most was that it was more offbeat. It wasn't like the typical humorous gags that you would expect, but there are some good ones. And, and if you don't understand, I don't want anyone watching this review thinking this is a negative review. No, That's not the at problem, all. problem though, when you, you, all you do is make the best of the best of the best. Yeah, and I this think, actually sounds negative when it's not even that. Yeah, exactly. I think that, I think that's a, that's a, it's, it's really the point where it just comes to, we've been so spoiled by Pixar, it's that our, our expectations are so high that it's gonna be harder and harder for them to meet. And not to mention, we didn't really talk about it. This movie has had um, quite a journey itself. Just uh, to get here. The, the movie was just like uh, uh, our Arlo. Yeah, the our, the idea was sparked in 2009. Um, the director originally in charge was removed in there in the summer of 2013. 2014, Pete Sohn, who was working with the original creator, came in to take on director, but the, most of the cast, almost an the entire cast, changed. basically did yeah. all their lines, got paid, and then Pixar said. Nah, it and, scrapped it all. And as Rob Thompson pointed out in our interview, um, he said, you know, once that movie, once that transition happened, the whole movie changed. So I really kind of have to also think to myself, like, I wonder what the, what original, the original movie was. Good Dinosaur was. Yeah, because if you Google the Good Dinosaur and you look up images, uh, you'll find posters from the original Good Dinosaur and you'll notice how Spot looks incredibly different. Spot looks like more he's a part of a tribe. Uh, and he's carrying like a weapon instead of more of like the dog look. So I, I, w I would love to know what that. Oh, mind I was. loved how the spot kept on doing that leg thing that the all dog, dogs yeah. do. I was like, because I was like, that's my little Theodore. Um, yeah, but there, there is some, there is a, a moment or two in here that will kind of really gut punch you, you know. And then, uh, and I saw, it and it was actually a scene that I was able to see. One scene uh, we were able to see before, and very good. Not scenes. even in context, <laughs> still really struck us. Very strong. But the up scene was stronger still. After now that I finished this film, I had more like, oh, from up. Oh, from up. The, okay, the first yeah. five minutes yeah. up was stronger. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, there's some, I mean, this, there's the, one of the, the I don't want to spoil the film, but the film ends in a very, um, traditional manner oh, that made me of, sad. of something that we've seen in a few different movies, you know, and it's a very heart crushing scene <coughs> every time. But I mean, like I said, Overall, a really great movie. Um, the ending made me sad, though. Yeah, it was. It, yeah, it, the it, it, there's sad. some sad parts. I was like, ah, dang. But I think it's it's equally funny. I you mean, there's some really great, bats. like laughing out loud scenes, like the scene where he's uh, having to scream to distra to distract the. Uh, the, the animals for the T-Rex, I thought that scene was, is hilarious. Um, there was another scene that I was just in tears with and I can't remember what it was, but they were, they were, there was, it was very great equal amounts. I think a very satisfactory movie. ChasingCinema.com slash The Good Dinosaur. Full on review, check up our Toronto, like, favorite, follow, all that good stuff. Yes, and of course, since it is Thanksgiving, I want to thank all of you for watching our videos every week and subscribing. If you haven't, I'll thank you as soon as you click that button. Mr. Shu and Mr. Ken, I appreciate you both for taking time out of your days to work with me on these videos. I I always appreciate it. And don't forget guys, Creed, Sylvester Stallone's Rocky 8, 9, 10 potentially, <laughs> is already online. Also, if you haven't seen our review for that, it's Thanksgiving yes. weekend, those are the two films. That's and already Trumbo. online. Trumbo is a YouTube and Trumbo. Make sure to check that you out. You know, see if we, he, Brian Cresnell will play the trombone so you can see if that, <laughs> that goes well. Uh, those are already online. Oh, really quick before we go. Um, I can't remember the title exactly off my head, uh, but how did you feel about the opening short? Because that was really oh, off yeah. That was really offbeat too. I think that was the, totally the off beat, Indian awesome. father and the Indian yeah, um, son. Um, Sin, Sin, Sin Jay's Sin super team or super, super team. something like that. Yeah, I, I mean, I thought like that was something completely different. That was pretty. Than, it was than, really than cool. Generic, but it was a very cool, um, you know, uh, a, a short. I don't think it's as memorable it was as very far cool. as story, but it was definitely awesome to look at. It was their, cool. Their transitions of animation. So. Uh, but um, I, you know, the the lava one. I think I like that one better. I wasn't a fan of Lava. Yeah, I liked Lava better and it just cannot. All I do is compare now to Paper Man and Feast. Yeah. That's it. And it but there's a lot of good ones that you might not remember. I mean, the, I was thinking about some of these today when I was writing the review after I saw the movie and I was just like, man, 
you know, the magician one is really good. There's one about alien abduction, which is really good. Even the birds one on the line that the share yeah. is really, really strong. No, well, you know, Netflix has on uh, they Netflix now has uh, all the Disney shorts or not all oh. of them, but volume one of the oh, Disney nice. shorts. Yeah. So watch that. I own volume two. I never got volume one. It's on Netflix now. Okay. I'll so me, uh, me and my girlfriend are watching it, and yeah, <laughs> I, I enjoyed it, but Jerry's game. It's just still it's, a classic. It's just not Feast or Paperman. Yeah, but there's something magical about Jerry's game. You have to rewatch that one. Have you seen, have you watched one lately? Yeah. Okay, great. He's all happy to win himself, wins the teeth. Anyway, uh, go check out our review for Creed because I'm sure you are anxious to hear what we have to say about that movie. And uh, have a great Thanksgiving. Be safe Eat up, and happy Do your holidays. thing. Appreciate you guys watching and viewing. Yes, I appreciate everyone here. All that stuff. You and them, so. And uh, we'll be back in, not seven, but uh, seven, eight, nine, ten days. Ten days. For a very slow week before the Academy Award rush. Um, I believe next week we have Krampus, and I'm not sure what else. <laughs> no I interest. don't think of anything big. That's I hope there's another one, because I don't even want to watch that one. That's going to be a great movie. I don't even want to watch it. <laughs> well, then you could, uh, you know, watch Good Dinosaur again. Film Lovers. Website.